so I was at the premiere last evening and I saw you after the premiere and you looked really relieved and happy. Uh, tell me what that was like for you after so long. Well, yeah, to be able to, um, I mean, like this is always a very pretty long shoot and, you know, we put a lot of work into it. But to be able to bring uh, Mowgli really back to its origins, back to the place where, uh, where Rip Rudyard Kipling uh, had the book take place is really great. And, you know, many people love it here, so it's really great to be able to, you know, bring it back to the people who, who love it most. You were really young when you started working on the film, right? And uh, the film's been through a lot of ups and downs. Have you been keeping up with the, the progress and how involved have you been and how has it affected you when you've heard that the film's being delayed? Just due to the storyline, they wanted to have me age a little bit throughout the, uh, throughout the thing. So I was 10 in 2014 when I got involved with this and uh, I, was, I just turned 11 when we started principal photography. It was a good process actually because, you know, obviously I got to work with an amazing cast and to be able to, you know, work with Andy and Christian and Kate was just fantastic. So honestly, it was just, it was all worth it in my opinion. So your version of Mowgli is unlike a lot of the other Mowgli's that we've seen. Uh, in India, we, we, we're we huge fans of, there's an animated series, I know, yeah. which was uh, produced in Japan. Right. And it became really big here, plus the cartoon and uh, the Jungle Book that came out a few years ago. Have you seen those uh, adaptations of the story and uh, was it an active process to kind of differentiate your version? And is do you have a favorite? Yeah, so I mean, obviously, I, I really enjoyed the uh, the series that was produced in Japan. I, I I watched a bit of it, and I thought it was really amazing. Um, but as far as like differentiating my character, I mean, what I think was really, I mean, Mowgli and I are very different people, obviously, you know. And thinking about what we should be, I mean, I grew up in New York, and he grew up in the jungle. So I mean, we are pretty different people. But you know, I try to find like a common thread between us or I try to like incorporate something from him into my own life. The thing that I really admired about him was his perseverance and I think that really differentiate, differentiates him from like everyone else because you know he gets so many obstacles thrown at him over and over and over again. I mean obviously his parents were killed in the jungle when he was just a baby and as I said you know there's just so many uh, problems that just keep coming at him but he just keeps pushing through them no matter what happens. I think that's a really great feature about him. I think that the turn that he takes towards the enemy realizes that he has to lead people is very important for the character. Do you want to talk about that? Yeah, I mean, it's it's really great, you know, because he's kind of taking on the responsibilities and being able to almost bring the world of man and animal together. But I think he realizes that he really doesn't have to fit into either world. He can be of, of two worlds or of neither worlds. And, you know, there's a really great uh, message in this film. There's a lot of great ones about, like, bullying and stuff and fitting in. But I think the message that really spoke to me was uh, you know, obviously Mowgli, as I said, his parents were killed in the jungle when he was just a child. And he's, he's been brought up by these wolves. And he, he acts like a wolf, but he doesn't look like a wolf. And with the humans, he acts like, he acts, as I said, he acts like a wolf, but he looks like a human. So it's, he, he has traits from both worlds, but isn't able to fit into either one because, you know, he acts different or he looks different. And especially today, I think that's a great message because a lot of kids are like struggling to fit in and and kind of uh, they're being pressured to look a certain way or do a certain thing. And I think this really tells them that they don't have to do that and that they can be, be true to themselves. So I read somewhere that uh, you first shot with the actors in motion capture suits and then you went back and shot with other performers. Uh, was that different to adapt to because your performance is going to change? Exactly, yeah. So, I mean, it was pretty challenging actually, like, because, I mean, obviously we can't afford to hold, like, a Christian or a Kate, you know, over, month, uh, over months. But, I mean, everyone's going to play it different from each other. So those, those performance capture, those motion capture actors who played it uh, later in the, in the process, as I said, they perform it very different. So trying to remember how, like, a Christian or a Kate played it is pretty complicated and having to focus on the, like, the the features of performance capture, like sometimes I would look, have to look at like the stomach or chest of, a, uh, of an animal, uh, of a person rather than their eyes because they're lower down like an animal. And I mean, having to focus on that and remember how like Christian or Kate played it, plus keeping the, my performance like organic and, and different from the way I played it before, it was pretty complicated. You're wonderful in the film, you know, you're really good. And it's a really good film. Uh, all the best. Thank you. Let's Thanks work. so much. Mowgli, you are one of them.